Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you saw my previous video where I introduced the parts we had to put onto Letitia's Rally Art, then this will be a part two for that, because today what we're doing is we are fitting the catch can, which go down here. So here it is here, which is a driven fab. Now she got this used, I believe it's a V1 or a V2, I'll we'll have to do some more searching, but we've noticed it's just a hose with clamp, so it doesn't have the parts you need to pull out so much. Here in the PCV, we'll just take this off and it should just connect on and same at the back here. So to start off, um, what I'll do is I will just remove this APR tray, um, move this washer bottle out of the way a bit and pull this one out. And I think we're going to have to probably pull this um, upper nickel of piping off just to get back to this one here. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started. All right, let's get the APR tray off. Now we'll remove this washer bottle. I'm just gonna sort of lean this out of the way, hopefully. So, just so we can have enough room to get the catch can on down there after we pull the cooler bottle off. Sit that there, and then this one. What I'm going to do is just want to pull these hoses off, or just this one, I should say. So, just need two hands for that, it's on there pretty tight. Okay, so in this one slides down to that little bracket back there, so it just pulls out. Oh, that's that one out. So then we have this bracket down here that we want to actually remove, so the screw is loose. So we want to get this one out, so this is not needed anymore. So I think this will be a 10 mil. so I'll just grab my tools. Okay, so it's got this bracket out, and it's just a 12 mil bolt down here. Next thing we need to do is pull this one out. We need to relocate this ground to over here, put that 12 mil back, 12 bolt back in. So I'll just have to get this one out, which I think is going to be a 10. So this one down here, also a 12 mil. that out. We want to get this round and put that there. Put the 12 mil back in. Go. And the next thing I want to do is just going to clean up down here. It's quite filthy, so let's get that quick wipe down. 
Okay, so we got that in. Next thing I did was I pulled this headlight wiring plug out. So that was down in there. So I pulled that out. I'm just going to tuck it out of the way. So we have enough room for the catch can to sit down in there. And I just had to slightly um, push this line out of the way. So it was just catching. So we need to grab our bolt that was down here. And get that on. A little bit tighter because the catch can has the U type bracket that'll actually sit down in that and then it'll also bolt in here too so it's going to be really hard to tighten this one once I have the catch can in so we'll um, sit that down in there now and see if I can get it in and tight okay so this is a bit of a tricky part I've got it in just had to get this little um, nut that comes with it and hold it underneath while you sort of line it up up here and then screw this one in and also while getting the sort of U bracket can't really see it but down there onto that bolt so I've just got it sitting loosely at the moment I'm just going to tighten this one and try and get down there to tighten that one it's definitely um, a tight fit to get the bolt tightened but I've got that part on so I'll get those tightened and we'll uh, see what we need to do next all right I've got it on let me tell you that was a bit of a mission so this belt here had to sort of just hold the um, little nut down there while you line this up, push it through and then put a 10mm underneath to hold that and then an Allen here. That was kind of tight. This one down here, that was a bit of a mission. So I needed a ratcheting 12mm that's bendable. So you had to like come down, get one hand to hold that, find the bolt and hold that in place. You have to be like down underneath here, all the way sort of down, hold it in a really awkward position with both your hands and just sort of keep tightening it. So now that's in there good. Any movement is from this bracket at the top. So now I've got that in, should be easy part from here on in. So just need to pull this one off. Connect our hoses. Since we have the V1, we just connect it to this PCV rather than taking it out and threading something else in. Um, and I'll just have to take this upper nickel piping off to connect it to this one. So I will get started on that and update you as I go. Okay, so to update, um, what I've done is I've got the radiator. Um, line plumbed in at the bottom here and then this top one is just a vent so there's just a bit of excess that is just going to sit down and I've got this hose in so because this is the V1 or V2 kit I'm not sure because it's definitely not the V3 so it's just a rubber hose that just sits on and I'll tighten up that clamp that one then runs down into this closest side, so just got that loosely sitting. <clears throat> I said pull this um, blow off valve piping out of the way. So you had to pull out the vacuum line back here. It goes from there into this one. And then I've got this longer hose. And I've run that into there, just loosely, just trying to make sure I have enough room to then get this one on. So we run it like, like this. So yeah, just going to, I had to also put the filter off just to be able to tighten these because that was in the way. That's where we're at at the moment. Because we bought this used, we don't actually have the little um, clamps or little plugs that go over this and the vacuum line in the intake piping. So we're going to have to go and find some of those after I finish installing. Um, but other than that, it's slowly getting there. 
it's pretty easy to do, just the hard part was definitely this bolt down in the back here. But yeah, so I'll get all these lines run and tighten everything up. Put the blow-off valve piping back into the intake and then I'm going to have to take one of the other cars out and try and see if we can get some plugs for two locations that we need to plug up. I'll show you how it looks once I get everything tightened up. Okay, so here is the finished product. Uh, it's actually been a couple of hours just because we had to run out and get some plugs. So I had to get a plug for this one down here and for the back into the intake there. So I've got a 10 mil vacuum plug here and got it over and zip tied it. Should hold. And the one at the back uh, is a 8 mil. Probably swap that out for a 7 or something smaller as it's a bit big but we've got a zip tied on. Um, and while we're doing that, while we're out, we actually went over and picked up these two um, separators, whatever you want to call them. Um, our friend Justin gave these to us because he had a spare set, so massive thanks to him. Uh, he also has a YouTube channel, if you'd like to check it out, it's Juzzy Evo X. So yeah, he gave us these, which were red, we painted those black. Um, while we're painting those, also decided to just paint this cap for the windscreen um, washer fluid. Um, this one here for the power steering and also this bracket over here so after I did that decided to reroute this and ended up going inside um, here originally had it going around but I thought it looked a bit neater coming in and I popped this one up it's got it pretty close to the intercooler piping now but kind of follows this line down a little bit better I think um, but yeah, that is the finished product. Really happy with the look. Uh, if you can remember how it looked at the start, it did look neat. But, you know, this ugly bottle in the middle. So, it's a, it's a lot neater, to be honest. So yeah, that will be it for the video for today. Um, hope you enjoyed. There'll be a few more of these uh, Mitsubishi Rally Art install videos as we do have a few more parts to go. And today we actually picked up another one that we're going to be doing. So we can actually do a rear windscreen wiper delete. Um, picked up some plugs to plug the hole. It's actually a common mod for the Evo 8 and 9 guys in America I've seen. And someone in one of the groups we're in with a Rally Art sports pack also did it. So shout out to him because he's uh helped out Letitia with what size plug we need and how to do it so yeah we'll, we'll do that as well while we're doing all these uh, installs in the rally art so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video uh, make sure you subscribe to see the rest of the install videos on the rally art and plenty more on my evo 10 as well which is sitting back here so yeah that'll be it uh, make sure you subscribe like the video and Chuck any comments you have down below, whether it's uh, any comments you have about this video or any ideas you have for future videos you'd like to see. But until then, I'll catch you guys next time.